Just opened the BIN 389. It's a 1998. I've had it, I bought it like in 2002 and uh, just opened it today. So I successfully opened it. There's a cork there. So the trick to successfully open an old cork is get the proper opener. You need actually a longer opener. But what I did, I actually put it right down as far as I could go. So that will, the point of the corkscrew goes through it, then gently pull it. Don't do the sideways thing, cause you'll snap it off. You gotta, when you're trying to get it out, put it on the ground and just lift it up vertically like that. And it got out perfectly. 22 year old wine cork come out successfully. And it smells good. So I'm just open it, gotta let it decant it for a while and drink it in a couple of hours time. Give it some time to breathe. Bin 389. So this is made in uh, old Grange barrels. So I see it, should have a bit of oak in it. It'd be more of a mellowed out Grange oak. Yeah, so I use these uh, tea strainers to decant the wine, which work quite well, getting little bits of cork out and other stuff. So it's got a nice brown colour, it's got the age. So you can tip it all in then, with a bit of residue. So yeah, you can see it's still about a centimetre of slush in there. I'll just get the rest out. Alright, so have a look at that. Yeah, so there it is decanted. Let it breathe for a while. And we'll drink in a couple of hours time. Give it a swish. Yeah, so we got the cork out successfully, got the cork screw out. Didn't drop any cork into it. So just gotta wait as from that one. Be good if this bit was a bit longer, about another centimetre. You can get right through the cork quite easily. But as I was going through, I went right as far as I could go, really. And just so the middle bit poked through and gently lifted it out, and it worked quite yeah, well. Yeah, so I poured the uh, bin for and I into a glass. Mm, very nice. Notes of tobacco, molasses, cherry tree. I wonder what it tastes like. Mmm, still a bit of youth on it. Not bad at all. So, even though this wine is 22 years old, there's still a lot of tannin in it because it was aged in oak barrels from Grange the year before. So there's still life in it. Very luxurious. It has an effervescence of youth, yet it's 22 years old. So drinking the wine is really nice. And what I've realized is that this is bin free 8998, made in Grange barrels. I do have a bottle of Grange in 97, as we all do. And... <laughs> I'm actually going to leave it a bit longer because there's still a bit of body in this, a bit of life, a bit of tannin. So I'm going to, I was going to open my Grange, you know, in the next couple of weeks, but I'm actually going to hang on to it for a bit longer. And I'll drink some of the other stuff. That's what I learnt. Yeah, bin 389 still could go for another five years. Quite nice, full bodied. Not a lot of fruit, but a lot of, still a bit of tannin there, a bit of life in it. So what does the wine taste like? It's smooth. Hmm. Has a bit of a cedar note to it. There's no like grassy or there's no like earthy notes. I think that's when you let the wine go too well. <clears throat> a bit of plum. Yeah, definitely a bit of plum. It's not very fruity. It's more the tannins you can feel around your tongue. Uh, the tannins are sort of 
interacting and make it feel a bit twitchy on your tongue. It's very easy to drink. Um, I think the oak's taken over a bit from the Grange barrels. So it's not really fruity or anything. It is 22 years old too, so you wouldn't expect that anyway. Um, but yeah, it's very enjoyable. I still reckon you'd get another five years out of it, but then it probably wouldn't it'd be very smooth and just go down really well with a bit of body in it. Yeah, so I've been letting the wine air for about two hours now and just drinking it nice and slow. It's coming to life a bit more. The tannin's sort of melting away. A bit more, it's sort of like a fruity, um, plummy sort of f s taste is coming out of it. It truly really has a lot of depth to it. It's quite amazing, actually. I'm very happy with this wine. The Bin 389 is a terrific wine. It's a lot better than the St. Henri, which was the same vintage. I think mean, I left that one about five years too late. Oh, it's really good. I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> it's got uh, good legs on it. So it shows it's full bodied. It's got a bit of a brownie red colour, showing the age. It's the colour. I think it looks any better. It's a dark, reddy brown. So I'm still drinking the red wine. Mm. Oh, it is nice. Mmm. So now it gets better with more time in it. You can see the legs. bright red colour, very full body. The bin 389 1998. Mm. Beautiful wine. Just gets better the more you, you drink it. Mm. I didn't think it'd be so good. It's really impressed me. <clears throat> I'm David. So here it is here. Let's go have a drink. <laughs> yeah, I'll just taste the cork. Yep, tastes quite nice. So um, it's weathered quite well. And uh, it's always a good test to taste it it tastes like cork uh -oh. yeah the cork is delicious